in um, Europe, the cost of the network is network is transmission and distribution. Um, is about six euro cents on average across Europe, which is what, nine cents, uh, US cents. Um, and in many countries, actually, the cost of transmission is bigger than the cost of energy. So this is true today. Now, if you're a vertically integrated company, then that is not an issue because you just add up all the costs and you get it basically paid for by the rate payer. But if all you're providing is this chunk, then it does matter. And it does matter in the US and it does matter in Europe. So nine cents US cost of transmission or seven cents US cost of transmission um, and distribution. Uh, of course, you know, like I said, every market is different. So all, everything that I'm telling you has to be adapted to each specific market, cost of energy, cost of network, but the principles apply pretty much in every market. Um, so as the cost of solar generation keeps going down, like I just showed, it's been down by 154x since 1970, assuming that the cost of distribution plus transmission is seven cents. Here's the question. At which point is on-site rooftop solar going to be below that cost? Because when it gets to be at that cost, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is it doesn't matter what the cost of generating centralized power is. Because if solar is five cents on your rooftop and the utility has to pay seven cents for the cost of the poles, even if they produce energy at zero, the utilities, centralized utilities, have no business because they can't compete at any price. Okay? So when is the cost of on site rooftop solar going to be seven cents or below? Of course, it's going to depend on regulation, financing costs, and uh, capital cost of solar, which vary by market. So I talked about Lancaster, California, um, at the beginning of the class, and I said that they have a new uh, law that every new home has to have solar. What that means is you're going to finance that PV with your mortgage, right? And what is the mortgage today? 3%, 4% or so, right? So that's effectively the cost of uh, financing rooftop solar. Um, anyone who wants to see the, figure, the dollar figures in um, Australia, you can go to a website called solarchoice.net.au and they have basically the cost of uh, installed solar in all of Australia. So there's a lot of numbers here, but if you want to look at Perth, uh, for March of 2014, on average, the installed cost of solar was Australian dollars, 162, which is $1.51. On the low end in Perth, you can find a dollar fifteen Australian, which is not that's not a lot a dollar fifteen US, that's less than a dollar US. It's about ninety-nine cents or ninety-eight cents. Today, this was last month. Australia in Perth, you can already buy solar at what Citigroup and GTM say we're going to achieve by 2020. That is not a stretch, right? Is that huh? No subsidies. This is the cost, installed cost, not no subsidy, the actual cost. That's a good question. No subsidy. So I did the numbers. If you install by 2020, uh, 
a new house in Lancaster, which will be financed with a mortgage. So I mapped the cost of capital from zero to 10%, and a mortgage would be somewhere here, now or in 2020. Um, and you take the 112 cost that, that, that Citibank says we're gonna have by 2020. Basically, a house in Lancaster in 2020 is going to generate solar, no subsidy. It's going to generate solar, no subsidy, at four to five cents by 2020. A home in Lancaster, California, by extension, LA, San Diego, Phoenix, and so on, basically the southwest of the US, will be able to generate solar energy on site at four to five cents. The cost of transmission will be seven cents, five cents, no less than that. Solar generation on site will be lower than just the cost of distribution and transmission. The utilities will have no business. I mean, they will have to sell energy at minus two cents, at minus three cents, in order to match solar. And that's not a sustainable, not sustainable in the green way, that's not a financially sustainable business model. This cost is gonna happen everywhere. It's just a matter of when and how. But the cost of solar is going down. It's gonna to continue to go down. The Are you saying goodbye to monolithic centralized energy? Yes, that's the whole point of the clean disruption. The centralized, monolithic, old model energy uh, companies are gone. They're zombies, right? Over the next 15 years, pretty much kaput.